This passion for fish and raising fish has been something that's always been there. And uh, as a little kid, my entire family fished. We'd go out fishing and bring back fish. And that really led to me raising fish. And by the time I was about 10 years old, I had aquariums all over my parents' house. And I actually had to get a paper route to pay for this hobby of mine. And eventually, I had to step it up and get a job in an aquarium shop so that I could pay for my fish hobby and uh, keep it going. I've always had an interest in agriculture and that more than likely goes back to my childhood where I was raised on a dairy farm. Every spring there would be some task that we would be doing in the farm fields and my dad or my grandfather would stop and lean on a shovel or on a thistle hoe, look up at the sky and go, you know, we could make money in agriculture if we could only control the weather. I got started in aquaponics through a, uh, a path through hydroponics, which is soilless agriculture. Um, in the early 80s, we actually set up hydroponic systems so that we could grow food for ourselves. In the wintertime, we, uh, we were hungry for fresh tomatoes and wanted a way to achieve that. In the early years, we were working with hydroponics, where you mix the nutrient water-soluble uh, fertilizers and create that nutrient formula that the plants need. And that too was done in a greenhouse and that way we could grow lettuce or tomatoes or cucumbers 365 days a year. The only issue I saw with that method of agriculture was that it still required the same fertilizers we used on the family farm. And these are fertilizers that will someday be in short supply and in the water soluble form they're really expensive loved the efficiency of hydroponics, but we didn't really like the idea that we depended on mined and manufactured fertilizers. So we were looking for other processes that would allow us to do hydroponics but didn't use mined and manufactured fertilizers, and we heard about research being done in aquaponics. So really what sets us apart in aquaponics is how long we've been doing not just aquaponics but hydroponics and controlled environment agriculture and aquaponics. All those things come together to give us a very broad base of experience. And then our experience as entrepreneurs. Um, John and I have been running businesses and starting businesses and, and uh, being successful in businesses pretty much our entire adult lives. The, uh, if you look at some of the firsts for our company, it's pretty interesting. I mean, we had the first hydroponics video in the world that we were marketing in the mid-80s. Uh, we had commercial hydroponic videos following that that were marketed globally. And um, in the mid-90s, um, we started doing web work. We were actually doing e-commerce using aquaponics.com in 1996. So it, uh, it dates us for sure as far as when we started and what we were doing. The first hydroponic CD-ROMs and interactive presentations we had in the mid-90s and we had an interactive presentation on aquaculture in the mid-90s. We started the Aquaponics Journal in 1997 and the whole idea was to bring together people that were working in aquaponics around the world. Uh, there was handfuls of researchers, backyard hobbyists, uh, a, a very few number of people looking at the commercial side of, of aquaponic food production. So the idea with starting the Aquaponics Journal was to just bring us all together. So we had essentially one clearinghouse for information. Um, I think it's that background that you have to have uh, to be successful in aquaponics. And after spending all those years in hydroponics and understanding the methods and all those years in um, experimenting with recirculating aquaculture and a thorough understanding of designing and building controlled environment greenhouses, that's what gives our company such a solid background and a thorough understanding of how to apply aquaponics effectively. A science-based system, controlled environment, um, allows us to have uh, well-designed systems that are highly productive.